yeah, my whole thing is actually going to run out in 10 minutes. So Graham, what I'm going to do is um, give you the floor. We were just talking about generally, um, you know, talking about how you've dealt with um, the, the shutdown and um, looking into a crystal ball. Um, maybe just given there was an overview of what Sun City is about and, and what is what is happening on your side. Um, well, it's safe to say that not only at Sun City, but all our resorts and casinos have been shut down. So, you know, we're in a, like everybody, in a unique situation where we have uh, lots and lots of costs on a monthly basis with no revenue. So the biggest concern right now is, uh, is liquidity, making sure that there's enough liquidity in the company to be able to survive for a period of time. Uh, dependent on how long the lockdown occurs. A very interesting exercise in shutting down a big resort like Sun City um, because you don't ever assume in your career that you will shut down a resort of that size. It's only the second time it's actually been closed. It was closed once some years back for uh, some uh, uh, activity riots, etc., around the resort. Um, but um, it's what I can tell you what is happening is that the wildlife has returned. Um, there's wildlife all over the place. The, the buck are out uh, on the golf courses. The, the baboons are seemingly behaving themselves because there's no food sources around. Ah. Um, we, have, we still have a core uh, contingency on resort of about 100 people who are maintaining grounds and gardens, maintaining essential plant and infrastructure, uh, performing essential repairs uh, on the property. I tell you the one good thing that's come out of this is that it's really forcing us to relook at our cost structures and our, and our base costs. Mm. You know, we've, we're starting to see a 70% reduction in electricity and water consumption because we closed and we, in some respects, we thought uh, we would have had a bigger deep, uh, a bigger reduction because we think we're closed and there's no consumption, but it's not quite like that. Um, so it's giving us an opportunity to really zero base our, our structures and our costs. And we're doing that across our whole, whole uh, portfolio of hotels and casinos, where we're really asking all our people to critically ask why are we spending uh, why we're we incurring costs in certain areas and how can we do it better? And I think every organization should be doing that as a matter of course, because mm. when we do reopen, it's not going to go back to pre lockdown activity. Those businesses that are heavily dependent on inbound source markets are in for a really, really long ride. Uh, we don't expect there any, any life in the source markets for the rest of 2020 and probably mid 2021, we're expecting eh, maybe 80 to 85% of pre-lockdown levels. Um, so we are gearing our cost structures and our, level, and our head counts uh, to operate at that level. Because this, is, this lockdown, this, the, the pandemic is affecting not only supply and demand, that's the uniqueness about this. It's those you want to supply, you can't because you're prevented from supplying. And that's causing then demand uh, issues on the other side of the, of the economic equip equilibrium. Um, so that's the one thing that is good thing that's coming out of this. It is also giving us a chance for our, a lot of our people to reconnect with their families and spend some, some quality time at home with their, with their families. But the economic stress is starting to, is going to take its toll on people. And it's something that we've got to be prepared for as an industry as we, as we start reopening in a staggered form, um, that there are going to be the economic consequence of, not, of having people out of work or taking reduced salaries. We've, we've taken a, a, a view that we've cut everybody's salary by 60% across the board. Our minimum staff will, are, are getting a, a minimum salary of 3,000 rand a month uh, just to try and keep them keep, you know, try, just to try and help put food on the table. But uh, on the whole, we've all taken a 60% salary reduction. And that's going to have a, a, a big impact on people because I think there's a general view that this is going to continue. 
Uh, I don't think 17th of April is going to see an opening up. I, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I had to fill out, a, I was asked to fill out a survey this morning um, from the presidential, supposedly from the presidential council, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but it seemed pretty legit. And it was talking about two, three scenarios. Lockdown finishing 17 April, lockdown finishing 30 April, lockdown finishing 8th of May. So you can get a sense that there are thoughts and considerations to the lockdown being extended. So I think we've got to get our minds around that. Um, how do we start building ourselves up uh, as we come out of this? Uh, I've spoken about the cost structures. Mm, we're also going to have to rethink on how we market. Um, corporate travel is going to be under severe pressure. So, and everybody's going to be contracting and trying to get their uh, piece of the pie. So we're focusing a lot on, on delivery, focusing on simplicity of the experience, not cheapening, but simplicity of the experience with our customers and with, our, and with the travel trade to make it easier to do business with us as opposed to it being difficult to do business with us. Um, so we, we're planning some initiatives that will go out to the in-houses, the tour operators, the PCOs, et cetera, to, because those small businesses are under as, as much pressure as we are. So really trying to get back in and rebuild relationships and use this opportunity to, to work together to allow us all to come out of this so that we can, our businesses can survive and grow uh, together into the future. Because I think that's what we need to do uh, as an industry. Graham, thank you. That's, that's uh, amazing insights there from uh, Graham Wood at Sun International. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Um, so, Graham, we'd like to circle back to you at a later stage. Um, with uh, We are doing this across industries, and we'll probably do a webinar next Wednesday. So, please save the date, Wednesday, 15 April, 2 p.m. South African time. Um, we are going to discuss the potential of mice business returning to Africa, and I think everybody's alluded to that's probably going to be the toughest market to return to travel. Um, with that, our uh, panelists, James, Karen, Graham, thank you so much for joining us and we'll catch up with you in the very near future. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Yes, thanks.